There's all kinds of vintage audio equipment out there and computer equipment that has drawers that allow you to insert the disc or media. For example, this VCD player has a drawer. This TAC CDR burner has two drawers. This Optimus digital compact cassette player and recorder has a drawer. This Tascam DA20 digital audio tape deck has a drawer. My HD DVD player has a drawer loading mechanism. And my Pioneer CLD980 Laserdisc player has a gigantic drawer loading mechanism. Computer CD-ROM drives have drawers. The original Xbox and the Xbox 360 all have drawer loading mechanisms. Well, what if I told you that there was a VCR that had a drawer loading mechanism on it? Would you believe me? Well, you better believe me because this is exactly what you're looking at. This is the JVC Video Cassette Recorder, HRFC100U. It is VHS and VHS-C compatible. And you can see those cool lights right there in the front. This unit would be awesome if it had stereo sound, but it does not. But it does have a really cool feature that I will show you a little bit more about as we go here. So this is the unit's front here, and of course I've already got the hood pulled on it, so there's all the uh, guts of the unit right there. And I'll just go over some quick features that are underneath this really cool door right here, which is really weird to open. There it is. So underneath there we have the picture sharpness control. We have a tape remaining control, and it shows T120, T160, which would be VHS full-size format, and then we have TC20, TC30, VHS-C format, and, I, and of course an auto setting. And I would assume that is just telling the machine, uh, it, it would probably show you on screen when you're getting close to the end of the tape, and those settings there help it be more accurate as to how much recording time you have left. And then to the right of that, we have an RCU code, and it's A off and B, and I'm just going to assume that there was two remote controls available for this machine and maybe for two different systems or an all-in-one system and you could control which remote control unit you wanted to operate it with. So maybe you had two of these VCRs, you know, you might want to have two of them stacked on top of each other and you'd have two remotes. Right underneath that is the controls for the counter, so there's a counter reset um, and then there's a repeat, and then I guess those buttons also work as channel skip and add as well. So then we have uh, a menu here, and then we have tracking VLOC, minus plus, display, select, timer, SP and EP speeds, start, record, channel, TV video, video stabilizer. So uh, you can see the uh, the display coming from the VCR there and I can actually hit menu from that and, uh, and there it is JVC on-screen menu looks remarkably like the on-screen menu of most RCA VCRs so anyway all right uh, we've got a little bit of a, a, a counter here on the front and this counter there, you can barely see it there but there's your real-time counter there your clock flashing 12 right there and then the channel selector right above it and it's a really weak display so it's old and uh, not very visible anymore on the front of that display there to the right we have pause still rewind fast forward stop and play and the ever exciting open close button not eject not reject open and close and of course your uh, your infrared signal right there is detected so this machine will play two formats of tape 
which are actually the same format, but they're, they're just two different sizes. So we have the standard VHS tape that we're all familiar with, and there, of course, is the original release of Back to the Future on Scotch EXG Hi-Fi. And then uh, next to that is a tape I just opened to make this video. is brand new old stock. And this is a VHS-C tape. So the VHS-C tapes, technically, or most commonly, would go into a camcorder. And then you would take these little tapes um, home, put them in a VHS adapter. So it was an adapter that pretty much you know, housed a tape inside of it, and then you would put that into your full-size VHS machine. But I guess they decided, you know, wouldn't it be cool if you didn't need an adapter? So let's just rework the entire mechanism so that you can get both tapes into one machine. Well, they pulled it off. A couple other lights here on the front. There's digital tracking, a, an indicator of which format you have in there, and a video stabilizer light as well. So... Let's see, the coolest thing ever since sliced bread. A drawer loading VCR. Over here we have a little, uh, I don't know, a little side note here. It says, 8mm and other format cassettes cannot be used. VHS and VHS-C only. So basically you couldn't put a beta tape in here. But wouldn't that have been cool if they had, you know, an extra little well to put the uh, beta tape in? But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll tape what we can get. So let's go ahead and put the VHS tape in. Let's see what that looks like. So there it is sitting in the drawer. Hi. There he is. Hi. How you doing? And then I'm going to hit the open drawer button. And you got all the sophisticated stuff right here to hold your tape into place. There's your video head. And over here, you've got your sync head and audio head. Now notice, when I put the tape in, it looped the tape around that head. And the reason it did that is for the real-time counter that it has on it. So by putting the tape against that head, you can say, hey, I want to go 12 minutes into this movie. And you can do that because it will read it via that head right there. Also notice that the capstan and pinch roller have a strange relationship. They probably argue a lot. This uh, capstan right here, I mean pinch roller right here, is actually suspended on some kind of a geared, worm gear kind of thing. And when you hit play, it falls down into place, okay? So if we had 3D glasses on, you could see the depth of this, but it's kind of hard to tell. But let's watch what happens when I hit play. Ready? Here it goes. It's kind of cool. So see, the, the uh, pinch roller just kind of pops down, moves down into place. And then when I hit stop, it just kind of pulls away a little bit. If I hit fast forward, okay, that's fast play actually, but... All right. I found this at a thrift store and I didn't have to do anything to it to get it to work, which is really rare. Almost any VCR you buy down nowadays at a thrift store is going to need some kind of belt or roller or something. But uh, look at that. Plays fine. Has a nice picture on it. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens when we eject. Or open and close, I should say. We have a big deal about that open and close. So we got to see what that does. All right. So there the tape comes out. Take it out of the drawer. Now let's put the VHS-C tape in. Notice there's a special little place just for it right there in the middle. I'm going to hit my open and close. And the tape pops down into place. Does the same thing. Pulls the tape up to the uh, playhead there. And the question is, how is it pulling the take-up reel? Where is the take-up reel? Well, VHS-C tapes have their own take-up reel built in. You don't see it, but it's behind that. And uh, apparently that little gear that you see right there in the center of your viewing screen is what is pulling that take-up reel. Notice that the normal take-up spindle has nothing on it right now. So it's completely all by itself there. So let's hit play and see what it does. And it makes an interesting little squeaking sound. 
which is kind of interesting and cool. All right, and then uh, notice you can see the supply spindle moving from the tape right there. And let's go ahead and do a fast forward. And it unwinds the tape from the recording head drum right there that you see spinning. And you see the tape spinning along there. Okay. There's nothing on this tape, because as I said, I just opened it. So even if I hit play, I, I don't have anything to show you up here on the screen. But uh, what a cool feature, right? Just bring your, your camcorder tapes home, pop them right into that deck, and show everybody what a great time you had at that sporting event, or whatever. And let's hit eject. And I'll go ahead and pull back so you can see the whole thing happen from start to finish. Okay, ready? I'm going to hit the open close button. And you can see my foot there. Hi, foot. So, yep. Hit eject again. So that is pretty cool. Kind of reminds you of the three inch cd format versus the five inch cd format and how there was that little extra well right there in your cd player and nobody ever knew what it was for because um three inch cds didn't really you know hit the world by storm but um anyway you've probably seen these vhsc camcorders at a garage sale or at uh at goodwill recently and um they're very common and I don't think they're really worth a lot of money. But uh, compared to the 8mm format, which is way cooler and much better picture quality than VHS anyway. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this overview of this really technologically advanced VCR for its time. And I don't know what date or time that it was produced in, but I'm going to assume it was probably made in the 90s at some point. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope it, this just absolutely made your day. Please share it with a friend who likes geeky VCRs and stuff. Please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. Or if you have a question about this particular unit, I'll be happy to answer that for you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.